Who goes there? Really? He didn't mention anything about a meeting. The Master's dealing with some urgent business today. All prior appointments have been cancelled. Urgent business? What is it? <sighs> the Master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. So, where is he now? I'm sorry. The Master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Uh, no, I, I, I mean, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. P please, believe me. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Master's currently in business negotiations at Shinya Kiosk. I, I beg for your mercy, please. My Master will show me no leniency if he finds out. Well, my master has much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. Luckily for you, your bad attitude will be the last thing on his mind when he's busy negotiating a big business deal with your boss. Thank you, thank you. May your business forever be blessed by the Lord of Geo. Nice work! Paimon never knew you were such a tough negotiator. Is that so? Now Paimon knows not to let your wily ways get the better of her in the future. Anyway, seems like the VIP client in question must be one of the Fatui. In that case, let's get ourselves over to the Shinyue Kiosk. Seems business is booming at the Shinyue Kiosk. No one should notice if we blend in there. But either way... I understand. I do. Please do not worry. You have my word that the order will be completed as promised. Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem, is all. We haven't managed to purchase the Core Lapis... yet. 
But it's nothing for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. That would be most ideal. I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. We are willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. But if it is not completed in time, you may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. I understand. I am indebted to you for your protection. You know I would not dream of disappointing you, don't you? We shall see when the time comes. <laughs> Darn that old man Chang. So, Mr. Gentry Mozai is colluding with the Fatui. Who knows if Gua Geek has made any progress? Should we go tell him? Was. Cuisine is inedible. I can't wait to see my adorable daughter again. But you didn't let me finish. I guessed as much. Did you really guess, or are you just saying that to sound clever? The course of action we must take is now clear. To start with, please deliver this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. They will know what to do. My liege, for reasons that I cannot explain, I will be unable to join you. There is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. When the time comes... Ugh. This writing is super hard to read. Paimon can't make heads or tails of it. Uh, hence why I said there's no need for you to read it. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will have someone who can understand it. But well, why would you want to get them involved? They're one of the big weak commerce guilds in Liyue. Why would they want to help us? Since we got to Liyue, Paimon keeps hearing people mention it. Seems they oversee a lot of business that goes on around here. Having such big backing would be great and all, but are you sure they'd want to help? No need to worry about that. From what I know, they share my sense of chivalry. Once they have read the carefully reasoned and passionately argued case I put forth in this letter, they will certainly be moved to action. Gentry Mautsai must be taught a lesson he will never forget. This is something we cannot do on our own. Also, I do not wish for anyone else to know of my involvement in this. Why not? You're only doing this to try and help chain the Ninth, right? To silently disappear at the matter's conclusion, concealing one's name and contribution. This is the chivalrous thing to do. To savor the memory is ample reward. Each droplet of kindness I receive, I am duty-bound to repay with a welling spring of gratitude. I seek neither praise nor reward. That sounds very lovely. But be honest, you just want them to do it so you can carry on reading your book, don't you? Thank you in advance for delivering this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Someone from the Guild should be able to receive you near Lioli Pavilion. Hey! Stop ignoring Paimon! <laughs> Excuse us, we come bearing news 
of a matter requiring your assistance. Uh, it's all in this letter. A letter? Oh, I see. This again. Oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Can he actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Hmm, yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Li Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a small token of our esteem. Yay! Tasty snacks! They're giving us the VIP treatment! Of course. We treat visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. When honored guests grace us with their presence, far be it from us to shirk our duty to them. Please, this way. And Paimon thought we'd get kicked out, or turned away at the door. Paimon didn't think Guhua Geek had so much clout. Thank you for your patience. With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Mountsai has, it will take more than a slap on the wrist to get through to him. For him to correct the error of his ways, he must feel for himself the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Since Gentry Mountsai's business has to do with Core Lapis, we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. That will put him in a rather sticky situation. Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson in Tevat would be unable to make their product. Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. But Liu is huge! Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of Core Lapis in the harbor? With the time scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated in the letter, we must ask for your further cooperation in the matter. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will need to buy from. I've marked their respective locations on your map. There is also some unsold core lapis at the chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Finally, there is Chang the Ninth's batch. Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, and then Chang the Ninth. Roger that! Of course. We are not expecting you to cover the costs. Wow! So many Mora! With cash like this, Paimon could rent out Leoli Pavilion and eat there for a whole month! <laughs> well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just par for the course now. All you need to do is strike a deal. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will handle the transportation and other trifling matters. Once you have purchased all the Core Lapis, please proceed to the Feiyun Commerce Guild's warehouse where you can see the rest of the plan unfold. <laughs> 